Hello, I, Dr. Vijay Chandra Jadala, welcomes you to today's session on IOT practicals in behalf of VZ Tech Education. Internet of Things, IOT. Now we are going to see the practical session on blinking internal and external LED node MCU ESP8266 model. This model we are going to see this particular model. This is the board of node MCU ESP8266. This is the node MCU EXP8266 model. This is the model which we are going to use for the sake of the practical session. Node MCU ESP8266 is a chip which is facilitating Wi-Fi where Node MCU is an open source Lua based firmware LUA Lua, and uh, developed board especially for Internet of Things based applications. It includes firmware that runs on ESP8266. The firmware model is ESP8266 where it is having Wi-Fi facility and it is from ESPress. System systems and hardware based on ESP12 module. The module is known as ESP12 module. This is the node C MCU microcontroller unit. Node MCU, MCU means microcontroller unit, ESP8266 pin description. Here you will have 16 pins which we can connect and we have four ground pins and this is the basic description where we can even use the uh, USB cable to connect with the uh, system laptop. To laptop we are going to use the USB cable so that we can connect to the system. See here it is clearly given you can observe here. This is the USB cable which is connected which is connected towards the laptop. If you you can observe here very clearly. Okay, this is the board. This is the main board which is called as Node MCU microcontroller board ESP8266. Okay. So here we connected an LED we connected a LED which is an external LED and one LED will be on board. So we are going to do the practical session where internal as well as external LED will be uh, glowing of internal and ex external LED is the practical session which we are going to do today as a demonstration part. So this is the pin of uh, pin description of node MCU8 uh, ESP8266 where it has the power pin where we are going to use micro USB port by using micro USB node MCU can be powered through the USB port. So from the power can be taken from our laptop or a desktop using the USB port. Even the program data will be shifted through this USB port only through the data cable. So here the data cable will be connected to the uh, microcontroller unit with the laptop and uh, by using it the software will be program will be uploaded to the uh, microcontroller unit that is program will be uh, using the data cable okay. So the data cable is used for power ex giving to give an external power as well as for the sake of the data convert data to be transferred to the board. So then we have the control pins that is EN and RST. The pins and the buttons these are resets the microcontroller. The microcontroller will be resetted by using EN and RST. Then comes to the analog pin 
that is A naught. Then comes to the other pins G, P, I, O, general purpose input output pins. G, P, I, O pins are there, that is the general purpose input output pins. You can see here 16 GPOs are there, general purpose input output pins. Okay, these 16 GPOs are there. So, these 16 GPOs will be used to connect with the board to the any other accessories. So, some uh, SPI pins will be there, UR, UART pins will be there, 12C pins will be there. This is about the pin description. Once we will see the board again one, one more time. See here, here uh, D1, D2, D3, D4 and some G word is there. That is the ground. Okay, this is G. Okay, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7 like that it will be there. So, other accessories such as LEDs should be connected to the D. One should be connected to the D and another should be connected to the uh, ground. Okay, that all we will see in the practical session. Next comes to the microcontroller, uh, microcontroller unit that is node MCU ESP8266 specifications and futures. It is a microcontroller, it is in Tesla, Teslica 32 bit or RISC CPU Zentena, Zentensa LX106, then it is a operating voltage is 3.3 volts, input voltage is 7 to 12 volts, then digital input output pins DIOs are around 16. Okay, these are only the general purpose input output pins. These are 16. Then analog uh, input pin is one. Then all these about the, then the clock speed, flash memory is 4 MB and clock speed is 80 MHz. And it is having the USB facility that is USB TTL based CP2102 is included on the board. If it is not included in some other boards, we have to keep another separate chip that is a CP2102 uh, which will connect a USB to the TTL based. So this is the major uh, brief description regarding the node MCU ESP8266. Then comes to the how to install this, uh, how to connect to the system. See here. Uh, this is the board, this is the uh, chip, this is the board, here I will remove this, back of it, you can see, you can observe back of it, there will be the driver specification, the driver specification will be there, back of it, so those drivers, those drivers should be installed, so node uh, we have to install node MCU ESP8266 node drivers should be installed. So to install those drivers uh, what we have to do is we have to search uh, search for the drivers and uh, based on that uh, okay we have to search for the drivers in Google you can easily found them and uh, there are different types of drivers which suitable for them but we will prefer the repository that is github repository the drivers are stored i am preferring it node mcu github from github it is div kit where you will have the three types of drivers one is for the linux one is for the mac one is for the windows we have to select the windows if i am using windows if you are using linux you can use linux and download them the driver should be downloaded once the dri driver the drivers will be in the form of RAR file and this RAR file should be once it is downloaded the RAR file downloads means uh, what you have to do is once the RAR file is downloaded means you have to uh, extract the different files and you have to store them and in it you will get a exe file that should be executed okay so the RAR file should be taken the RAR file should be taken and next step as the next step uh, the RAR file should be extracted and then 
after rar file extracting the exe file what ex, uh, that should driver should be extracted and driver should be uh, activated that means uh, you have to run the installation procedure of the driver then after the first step that is in including the drivers the second step is including the software what software we are going to use here is the arduino ide okay for the programming the node mcu we are using arduino ide so the path uh, that is given is https double slash www dot arduino dot cc slash c n e n slash software that is a link where you have to download this Arduino IDE. This Arduino IDE also the same procedure where it will be in the form of the RAR file only. So by so just in Google you can search if you can't remember the path which given you can directly search the search in the Google even uh, down I am going to give the uh, path for the sake of the drivers drivers as well as for the Arduino software. So this is the uh, main page of the Arduino software where you have to download the uh, required uh, window based here Windows Linux and all the uh, terms are given we have to download the Windows based. So uh, download options are there where we have to download the Windows based. So click on the windows based here two options are there one is continue uh, we have to donate and continue or you can even just download you can easily say just download by using just download you can download the particular file the download will be taken place uh, as a rar file again the same procedure you have to extract the rar file and you have to double click on the exe file which is provided by the uh, in the rar file once you extract uh, the rar file and uh, once you execute the exe of arduino then you will get this uh, screen on screen that is it is preparing the board and the icon uh, you know, it will ask for the installation steps accept them and then comes to the icon will be displayed arduino icon will be displayed on the desktop and then once double click on the Arduino icon this screen will be displayed okay on cl double click on the Arduino icon this screen will be displayed where you have two options which you are seeing there one is the right option another is the ar arrow mark right option is compiling the program the program which you written that can be compiled checking the errors then arrow mark is there that will upload the program into the board so these are the two steps will be done that is called as sketch that means writing the program and compiling it comes under sketch where a new program go to file go for a new okay once you can go to a new program and you can write the program but here also there is one step which you have to do that is you have to uh, include one file in the preferences by including the file in the preferences only the board will be connected to the Arduino software. So the board drivers we downloaded and installed, we downloaded and installed Arduino, Arduino software but there should be a bridge between the Arduino software and the um, board software. So for that you have to go to the preferences, in preferences here where it marked here there you have to copy and paste this particular link. So go to file, go to preferences to open the below dialog box and additional board manager URL paste the at the additional board manager URL paste the link given so that and then go for installation once it's completes once it's completes your this is the installation step and after it in the board manager in the board manager you search for the uh, board and you have to install it then after the installation process completes after the installation process completes so you have to search in this way ESP ESP 2666 so if it is given installed then your work is done okay then close it 
and you can start your writing program but the last step here is step 4 is now you have to go to tools and go to boards and you have to identify node MCU so node MCU uh, will be there in the uh, on, on the list you have to check it and you have to select the node MCU on the list after come after that the next step is you are ready to write the program okay what program you have to write is this is the program what is the program you have to write you have to write this particular program that is void setup it's a C program pin mode LED built-in built-in LED means it is inbuilt this is about the inbuilt LED to glow this is about the built-in so it is about the built-in LED to glow so here on board you can find a small LED will be there that will glow for that purpose what you are doing you are writing the pin node LED built-in okay output then you are giving the loop where you are giving the built-in LED low and built-in LED high and time delay is given so that LED will glow okay so this is the procedure of the this is the code okay after this code let us check the demo see here the written the code which is given is written in the Arduino dashboard that is uh, sketch the total after that press the right mark for compilation then arrow mark to load the data into the board okay the data will be loaded into the board after compilation without errors then it the data will be loaded into the board once the data is loaded into the board see at 20 percent 10 percent then the led will glow starts glowing you can observe the led internal led is glowing there on the screen on the screen what you are observing is see here observe clearly the internal led will glow once the data is uploaded into the board yes started you can observe the internal led the small led blue color led is glowing there okay then comes to the after this what we what i am going to show you is the external led okay after this the next step is the external led okay this is the external led what is it it is the external led okay this is the external led see here uh, external led two are there one is small one is high this is the positive and this is the negative okay this we can since led is a small item we can directly connect okay this ground this is the ground we have to connect this to the ground this we have to connect to the d7 d5 d6 any d okay so the program here written here is very uh, difficult to understand it's very small a clear program is given see constant int led d7 that means on board d7 we are connecting this led okay on a, this led is connected to the d7 and another will be connected to the ground okay so next uh, pin mode led comma output uh, then the same loop okay so how the how it will be executed let's let us see so i connected the led to the external led and see here uh, it's blinking based on the program the external led red color external led is there that is blinking this is all about the uh, program of external led as well as internal led thank you hope you all understood well uh, welcome back to the vc tech education since 2020 it started and uh, in between we had some little gap and i am back again like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching this video thank you thank you very much